I have to give you an update of this Easter uh, weekend experience, man. Thank you guys so much for um, sowing seed and for serving and for sharing your, your gifts with the people here. Uh, the drama team did a great job, the worship team, all of you guys serving in the children's area in every aspect. It was just a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I think we had over um, close to 1,200 people show up this past weekend. A lot of beautiful families, a lot of new families, and a lot of new children signed up. And so it was just a wonderful weekend. And then regarding the Easter offering, um, I think as of now, there's over 17,000 that has already been given towards the uh, projects that we did, that we, we were talking about, the objectives. And immediately we've already sown $7,000 towards Guatemala because we said that we were going to um, build a kitchen and a, a bathroom for the church that was planted because of your generosity during the pandemic. And so we're about to send seven men over there in a few weeks to take care of that project. So we were grateful that we were able to do that. And then the admin building, um, the setup is complete now. And so that cost about $20,000. We were able to give at least 10,000 towards it right now. So uh, we need another 10,000 to give towards them. And then we still have to renovate. <clears throat> we have to you know, get all the renovations inside, the septic outside, the electricity, I mean, all that kind of stuff to make up the repainting of it and everything. So I'm not the guy that just continues to ask for money and stuff like that. I just wanted to make you aware of where we're at. And uh, thank you guys for sowing seed and uh, doing what you could uh, and, and doing your part. So we appreciate that so very much. But I was reading in Genesis, um, the eighth chapter and the ninth chapter, uh, right after Noah <clears throat> uh, was blessed by... Uh, God allowing uh, him and sparing his life and his family, immediately Noah did something that is so vitally important. And this is the principle that we do here at Crossroads. But immediately uh, after he got out, it says he got every clean animal of every clean bird and he offered a burnt offering to the Lord. And he honored him. He was full of gratitude that he uh, offered an offering to the Lord and God blessed him. As a matter of fact, the Lord said that he would never curse the ground again, and he gave him a promise, not only to them, but he, this promise is still available to us. It's still existing today. The promise is, is in, in Genesis 8, 22, where he says, while the earth still remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter, summer, day and night will never, ever cease. Get that. And so the principle of God's word is, and you want harvest in your life? We want harvest at Crossroads Church. Well, there will never be a harvest in our lives unless there's a seed time that takes place. It's like asking, you know, it's like a little story with little Johnny. It's like, hey, John, little Johnny, what are you doing outside? He's outside in his farmer's clothes and he's expecting a harvest to come in. He goes, what are you doing? Well, I'm waiting for some lettuce. I'm waiting for my vegetables to come up. Well, what kind of seed did you sow? Well, I didn't sow any seed. So I'm, just, I'm just believing that God knows my needs and he's just going to bless me. He's just going to take care of me. But it's, it's, that's not the way it works, little John. You got to sow seed first. Unless you, uh, you know, if you want harvest in your household, in your home, you got to make sure and sow seed. It's a principle of God's word. And you watch. God will make all grace abound towards you so that you have all sufficiency in all things. You have an abundance for every good work. So for those who sowed already, man, thank you guys so much for doing that. You've honored the Lord. You've done it unto the Lord. And you watch God uh, bring a harvest in your life in some way, form, or another. And for those of you who couldn't, that's okay, man. We get it. Maybe you're in a place where you couldn't do that. But position yourself. You know, position yourself. Decide, allow God to disciple you to help you to position yourself to be that person that's constantly sowing and giving the Lord the first fruits in your life. And uh, you just watch. Prove him. He will prove himself faithful to you in that aspect of your life. And uh, we just wanted to say, man, thank you for uh, this weekend. We had a wonderful time. Looking forward for this next weekend, Pastor Joel is gonna be doing a series on identity. And, uh, and then he's gonna be traveling for the next two weeks. Um, I forgot Switzerland, different places like that, uh, ministering God's word. So we are blessed, man, here across. I don't know if you really know this, but with Pastor Joel, our team, uh, Pastor Jeremiah, our worship team, man, we are just incredibly blessed at this church. And I am so thankful to God, honestly, uh, what he has done in our lives. 
But we look forward to seeing you this weekend. We love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful re remainder of the week. God bless.